Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're doing a pick a card reading or rather a pick a deck reading and we have three decks here, deck one, deck two and deck three. And the question we're asking is, will I get to date my crush? So if you are longing for somebody or if you are infatuated with somebody, if you like somebody, if you've fallen in love with somebody and you are hoping to be with them, the question is, will you actually get to date them? All right, so please uh, make your selection and you can go down to the timestamp, which is in the description box below and um, go directly to your reading. So um, I will begin the reading now. So this is for those who've chosen this deck and the question we're asking is, will I get to date my crush? Will I get to date my crush? So I'm going to be pulling the cards out of this deck um, like this because I just don't feel like it's shuffling very well. That's the first card. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, I read uh, tarot cards reversed. I don't read gypsy cards or the Norman cards uh, in the reverse position. Uh, however, I do sometimes read playing cards in a reverse position. Uh, it depends on what my intuition tells me. And anyone can read cards. You know, you just pick up the card and you read it. You can Google the meanings. And uh, but I use my intuition and uh, to decipher what the card actually means within the context and um, I hope that when you come to my readings uh, that's what you're coming for and not to um, to assess how accurately I read the cards according to Wikipedia. Um, all right so for those of you um, who've chosen this deck uh, will you date your crush? Um, well, the first thing I see here is that you will have your wish, okay? You will have, your wish will come true. Um, and so that is wonderful. But I do see that this won't happen so easily. Um, I see that this would happen amidst uh, difficulty. So there's a lot of feelings of uncertainty, uh, instability, a feeling of not being sure of whether you should approach this person or whether they will approach you, wondering, you know, having many chances to come across this person but not actually taking the opportunity to um, engage them or uh, being unbalanced when they come around. So being really nervous or being really afraid, uh, uh, being really shy, not being able to just uh, come forth and, and express yourself in a, in a manner that's eloquent and... Um, articulate it's as if you are all over the place uh, with this uh, with this person and but yeah see that your wish does come true and you do actually have a chance to be able to um, to to date this person but what happens within that context it seems as if there's a uh, well when you get to date this person it's as if something that you've been waiting for for a very long time has actually uh, come to pass and so there's a feeling of a release of a burden but I also feel that with this comes um, some other kind of worries and insecurities so it's as if um, you've been placing this person on a pedestal and when you finally get to date them it's as if the, the, you realize they're just an ordinary person and you know they're a nice person but you're not really sure of there's any there's much more to them yeah, and so you get your wish. Your wish does come true. But um, how you manage it thereafter is 
uh, yet to be seen. Uh, it might not be what you expect it to be. So all these excited feelings, this unsettled feelings, this instability that you experience um, before you actually go on a date with them is somehow, well, you wonder thereafter, well, was it really worth it? Or what was I crazy about? What was I feeling for this person? Why did I even behave in this way? And so this is um, what I see for you, um, for those of you who've chosen um, this, this deck. So moving on uh, to the next one. So, uh, yeah, so for those of you who've chosen this deck, the question is, will you be able to actually date your crush? Yeah, this is a short reading uh, in which we're just deciphering whether you will be able to date your crush or the person that you're longing for. Uh, this could also apply for those of you who uh, have been with somebody, but you're still crushing over them and you're wondering if you come back to them. This could also be, yeah, this could also apply to those of you who, who want to, it's basically, will I get to date the person that I want to date? Yeah, that's basically this question. So um, for those of you who have chosen this deck, can you give us an answer, please? Okay, so here we have a situation where you are longing and you are wishing for to be with this person, okay? You have a situation here where there's this hope, there's this dream, and this person's aware of your uh, feelings for them. This person is aware of it, but they aren't, they are in a situation which they cannot ch change right now, or they're in a situation which in which they are settled, but they're not really happy. And so they may be, um, there's various options here. There's various ways of reading this card. One one of the options is that they could be married, but unhappy in their marriage, or they could be in a long-term partnership, but they're unhappy with that. Or they could be in a commitment due to just having obligations like a house or children, etc. Or it could be that they're really into their studies and they don't want to, uh, so this is the second option, that it could be that they just really are very intensely in studious and, and they they want to maintain their focus. They don't want anything to come in and distract them. Or it could be that they're very hard working. They work very hard. They have an imbalance in their lives. They're a bit of a workaholic. They don't really want to uh, steer away from uh, from. Yeah, they don't want to really stay away from that. They they recognize that you are there. They recognize that there's this sort of connection that you have with each other, which is very beautiful and very pure. And it's something that they enjoy having and knowing. But they're not willing to ground it. They're not willing to move forth and do anything about it. They're not willing to actually bring it to fruition. They're not willing to take any concrete steps to actually make this thing happen. So I want to say that this person, like, I don't see you taking any action either. So I see you, like, just wishing and hoping and fantasizing. And they, uh, being in a situation where they're not really able to change their circumstances, rather, not because they can't not change it, but because they feel they can't, or they feel that they only have this option, or they feel that this is the only way that they can actually uh, be in their relationship. And so... Um, yeah, they feel like what I mean by that. Let me clarify that for you. It's as if they're in a relationship already, okay? But they are, and and they, it's as if they have everything they need. So, and but that they can't change it. It's the home, the legacy, the neighbors, the family, the the children become a prison for him because or her, because they they aren't able to actually do anything about that person about, sorry, about their situation, about you, about you, right? They're not able to do anything about you because they are imprisoned by what they have, by all these material things that they've sought after, that they've worked hard to achieve, and they have it, but they're not able to actually look beyond it right now. It's like a, it's like it's kept them tied up or it's 
it's like I see them in a ro like tied up with ropes, you know. So they have uh, what they've wished for, but they can't really uh, come out of the situation right now, and therefore they're not able to take any concrete steps. But let me see if uh, this is actually something that might change in the future. Let me just see. Are we asking the question? Does this actually change? Um, in the next few months and this my, my readings are timeless by the way so you can come back and look at this in five years or ten years from now and ask a question uh, and just choose a card for somebody one of your situations and um, depending on your intuition and what you've chosen you know um, it would resonate so here I'm getting um, the six of cups so I'm getting that there could be a reconciliation here there could be a chance that you could actually uh, be together. So this might be, this might come along a little bit later. Um, this could be that this person takes a lot of time to kind of get themselves out of the situation that they're in and take, they cannot ground themselves in a relationship with you right now or they cannot see themselves building anything with you right now. But later on, you have a reconciliation and there is love here that uh, takes place later on. I just feel that this card always for me feels like a long time away like either in the past or the future uh, but especially it's it's a card of reconciliation in the tarot and uh, it's also a card of past lives uh, but the way I'm reading it for you today and I think this is largely relevant for you is that you might have to wait a little while like at least I know this is going to sound dreadful to you but the feeling I'm getting is like you need to wait a year or a year and two months or it would happen like the next year like if you're watching this in March uh, then it would happen the next year if you're watching this in November then it would happen maybe sometime in August the next year this is the the kind of sense that I'm getting it's it's gonna happen uh, later than earlier it's gonna take some time to actually take place so but there is they could be that in the future there's a good chance of that in the future I would say that um, this person has feelings for you or they know of you or they have somehow come across you you've made them aware of you on some level and uh, they are they are aware of you and they I, I think they're also aware of the feelings that you have for them I think they're also aware of the longing that you have for them and the desire that you have for them and they see it as a very beautiful thing they see it as a very it gives them hope it gives them hope, it gives them strength, but at the same time, they're very aware of their insecurities and therefore they're not able to come forth in a way that, or, or ground things with you, or move things ahead with you uh, in any um, consolidated manner right now. But uh, there is a promise of reconciliation. So um, for those of you who've chosen this deck, yeah, I hope that uh, answered your question. And um, yeah, we're moving on to the next one. Will I date my crush? Will I date the person that I actually want to be with? Will I date the person I'm thinking about right now? So once again we are asking here uh, what uh, will I get to date my crush? Will I actually get to date my crush? And let's take this one. Well, I have an opportunity to do with my crush. Oops. I'm actually going to take this one because it spoke to me. But we have one here, which we still need to look at. So what I see here is um, somebody who's really excited about another person and really is willing to make the effort to go out there and and speak to them. And I think this is you. I feel that you are willing to actually go out there and ask them out and make the effort. It's almost like you would like to give them a gift of sorts or you'd like to, um, you could even uh, consider um, purchasing them something or planning a date. Yeah, but I feel that you're really taking the initiative with this and it's, po it's a possibility, okay? I wanna say that there's a chance that you will go out with each other um, but then what happens thereafter is a sense of, a sense of you're not really knowing everything about this person. 
okay? It's not as if this person's trying to deceive you. It's more like you just get the sense that that you've made a real effort with this person, but you still don't know where you stand or you don't know where you are with this person. Because I see you here full of passion and full of love and really willing to wear your heart on a sleeve and go out there. This is a very... Uh, um, uh, an energy that's very much a uh, Venus in Aries uh, type of energy, if you know what I'm talking about. This is the person that chases. This is the person that goes after what they want to go after and actually gets what they want. And they will be, they will make the effort and they will do so uh, to perfection. They will ensure that they will create the date of your dreams, you know. And this is, but I feel this is you. This is not that person. It feels to me that that person is willing to receive from you. They're willing to receive the gift that you're giving them, whether it's the state or whether you actually buy them a gift or whether it's simply your gift of love. But I feel that there might be something material involved in here, also because it is the Ace of Coins. And it, it's a sense that they actually are willing to receive something from you or take something from you because you're so giving and you it, it appears to them that you have so much to give. And so you are, um, you're there and you want to give and they are willing to receive, but they, there's a bit of trepidation about it. And this, this energy here is a very, it's an energy that they have something to, I don't, I don't want to say they have something to hide because they're not actively hiding this from you, but you get the sense. Yeah. If it was, if this card was upright, I would say that they actively are hiding something from you, but, um, I get the sense here that this is something that you, you walk away feeling like, oh my God, you know, there's such passion and I had such interest in this person and here's this person, they've received and taken everything from me, but they haven't actually, well, I still don't know anything about them. I don't know who this person is and I don't actually know where I stand with this person. Like, did we actually go on a date? It's as if when you go on a date with this person, it's as if you come back and you're at this position again, at square one, like not knowing where, whether, you know, like nothing's really changed. You know, it's as if you, you're expecting that it would be wonderful, fireworks, you know, bombastic, this amazing experience that you have. And that's what you set it up to be. But this person is kind of like, they draw the wind out of your sails in a way. So at the end of the day, when you are at the end of this, it's like you're sitting in this position where you don't have as much passion and but you, you kind of have a bit of intrigue but you're more confused because you're not really sure what that was okay so i do feel that yes you will get a chance maybe um it could be that you don't actually go on a date with them as such like you don't ask them out uh, you don't really go on a date but you actually go and give them something you go and give them something and then you get to see them and spend a bit of time with them and there's a level of um non-appreciation for what you've given them or you expected them rather to appreciate it in a different way in a way that is more expressive but they don't appreciate that appreciate that um you give them something and they just like don't show any emotions uh they're not really clear but you know there's another card that you are and i think that they're advising us and it's uh, this is a card that says that you know um well give them go ahead you know with your actions and give them exactly what uh, you want to give them. There's go ahead with that, you know, because it comes from a really good place and it comes from a place of love and passion and it comes from a pure place and a place where there's power as well. There's power in that feeling that you have for them and you give them that and regardless of how they behave, uh, they're saying, well, you know, maybe move away from them or maybe go in a different direction uh well you know i usually read this card as bringing yourself to a space of healing getting past uh difficulties from the past overcoming the difficulties in the past you know these are both sword cards and swords cards have a lot to do with mental um that uh, well thinking a lot about things uh worrying a lot about things and yeah you know, this is a card which is trying to lighten that it's trying to lighten I don't think too much about the situation, you know, when you, when you go and they, they, they behave in a way that you're not expecting them to behave, just don't take, think too much about the situation. I would like to frankly say, just move on with your life. 
this person isn't worth it. I mean, I know this is a really broad uh, statement to make and there are going to be a lot of people watching this video. And obviously, uh, not all these people are not worth it. But what I mean by that is that the amount of effort and love and energy that you have to give and to share is monumental and you deserve somebody who's able to appreciate that in you. And if you hang out with this person, you will always feel like you're giving too much or that they don't truly appreciate your efforts because they're not giving anything, you see. They're not giving away anything. And they're not even sharing their life with you in terms of, you know, sharing details about their life or telling you about themselves. They may sit there across from you or, or and, and just... Uh, and I'm saying across from you because I don't see them sitting with you. I don't see them sitting and holding your hand, for instance. But they may sit across from you and say, and like not say anything. And you'll be wondering why the flow of the conversation is not going so well. Or you'll be wondering why uh, you actually are with this person. And like, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be considering, like you still like this person. You still have this passion for them. But you'll be like asking yourself, well, why is this vibe not here? Why is this not gelling? Why are we not just coming together in a, in a loving, beautiful manner? You know, what is actually going on here? So I think that that is, um, I think that that is something that, that will happen here. And I think that the solution to that is, is you just taking yourself out of the situation. You're extracting yourself out of the situation. You're taking yourself to uh, greener pastures. Okay, you're taking yourself to new shores where you can actually have what you want in your life and where you can be appreciated for all that you are and that you can heal that hole that's been created in yourself, in you, from this, uh, from the way that this person's behaved. Or because you've you invested quite a lot in this person, you've invested uh, a lot of time thinking and caring about this person, and you're going to be putting a lot of energy into this. Maybe you know you might be paying for something, you might be giving them an expensive gift, you might even just be writing them poetry. But it's an it's a great investment in them that you you're making. Okay, you're giving them a part of yourself, and there's no acknowledgement for that, and so. The advice here is take yourself to a place of healing. So I feel like, I have to be honest, I don't feel like you'll actually be going on a date. I don't feel like this person will agree to a date as such. I think they will kind of, because they seem to be not coming forth in any way or form. But I do see that you, if you, you could give them something and they will accept it. And, uh, but they won't do anything about it. Okay. And um, yeah, this is your advice here is to to actually bring yourself into a space of healing and, and take yourself out of that situation. So, um, yeah, I hope that this has been useful for you today and this brings you um, some clarity. Uh, one of the the viewers commented on the channel that they, that they came back after doing whatever they did to check if the reading was correct. So I advise you to do the same. You know, if you finally um, go out with this person, come back and make a choice and, and see if you've actually um, chosen the right one and see if it plays out like that. And um, I mean, at the same time, because you've already had that experience, your vibration uh, from the experience may match the vibration of the cards or the meanings here that are given. And so that could be a, a, a kind of scientific explanation for why you would be choosing uh, the deck that you would be in that instance. But uh, having said that, well, I hope uh, that this has helped you. And uh, I hope that you get to go out with your crush. Yeah, we all want to have a chance to be uh, to go out with our crushes. And we surely uh, do not want to be just thinking about them, but we actually do want to uh, realize these feelings that we have. And so I hope that you have an opportunity to do that and... Uh, yeah, I'm wishing you all the best. So, and once again, much love to all my subscribers and all the wonderful comments and uh, all the love that you've been giving me. I appreciate that so, so much. Okay, so much love to all of you and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.